you can use the Trim and Extend tools to trim or extend one or more objects, such as a duct, pipe, or cable tray, to a boundary defined by another element. To understand these tools, first start the Pipe tool, and then draw three parallel horizontal pipes, a vertical pipe to the right of these, and then one more pipe at an angle of about 60 degrees. The Trim and Extend tools are located on the Modify ribbon in the Modify panel. Revit provides three related tools, Trim Extend to Corner, Trim Extend Single Element, and Trim Extend Multiple Elements. Use Trim Extend to Corner first. When you click the Trim Extend to Corner tool, the cursor changes to include a special icon so that you can see that the Trim Extend to Corner tool is active. In the status bar, you can see that Revit is prompting you to select the first line or wall to trim or extend, and Revit is also telling you to click on the part that you want to keep. Within these prompts, when you see the word wall used in Revit MEP, it simply means a similar model element. In other words, a model element that is sketched, such as pipes, ducts, conduit, and so on. Click to select the angled pipe. Then, move the cursor over the vertical pipe. As soon as you move the cursor over the pipe, you can see a preview alignment indicating how Revit will extend the pipes. When you click to select the vertical pipe, Revit immediately extends the two pipes until they meet at a corner, and it places fittings to try to make the connection work. In some cases, you may get a warning, stating that the connection cannot be made due to the angle. Realize that the Trim Extend to Corner tool remains active. Click to select the upper horizontal pipe. Then move the cursor over the vertical pipe. Again, you can see a preview alignment indicating where the pipes will meet. But remember that Revit told you to click on the part of the pipe that you want to keep. If you click on the vertical pipe above the preview indicator, Revit keeps that portion of the pipe. If you click the wrong portion, you can simply click Undo. Notice that the Trim Extend to Corner tool is still active. Repeat what you just did. Select the horizontal pipe, and then move the cursor over the vertical pipe, but this time, click the vertical pipe below the alignment indicator. The Trim Extend to Corner tool only works with pairs of objects, and the objects will always be extended or trimmed to form a corner. If you want to trim or extend multiple objects, or if you want to form T intersections rather than corners, you must use one of the other Trim Extend tools. Click the Trim Extend Single Element tool. Again, the cursor changes to include a Trim Extend Single Element icon, and in the status bar, you can see that Revit is prompting you to select a reference as the Trim or Extend boundary. Click to select the vertical pipe. Then, Revit prompts you to select a line or wall to trim or extend. When you move the cursor over the middle horizontal pipe, you can see a preview alignment. And when you click to select that pipe, it extends to form a T-intersection with the vertical pipe, and the appropriate fitting is placed. If you want to trim or extend more than one object to a selected boundary object, Use the Trim Extend Multiple Elements tool. Click Trim Extend Multiple Elements. Once again, the cursor changes. Now it includes a Trim Extend Multiple Elements icon. Again, Revit prompts you to select a reference as the Trim or Extend boundary. Click to select the angled pipe. Then, 
Revit prompts you to select a line or wall to trim or extend. This time, you can click to select multiple objects. Each time you click on an object, it is extended to the boundary object. When you select the upper horizontal pipe, it is extended to the point at which it would meet the angled pipe if the angled pipe was longer. Pay attention to a few things here. The horizontal pipes that were originally connected to the vertical pipe are still connected, and the fittings have been updated. But the horizontal pipe that was not originally connected to the vertical pipe now passes through the vertical pipe in order to connect to the angled pipe. However, the appropriate fitting was not added. Be aware that these pipes intersect, but the connection is not realized. Also, the other horizontal pipes have now become separate elements on either side of the fitting, but the pipe in discussion has not, since it is not actually connected to the vertical pipe. Switch to the Annotate ribbon and start the Detail Line tool from the Detail panel. Sketch a vertical line to the left of the vertical pipe and then click Modify to win the command. Switch back to the Modify ribbon and start the Trim Extend Multiple Elements tool. With the tool active, select the detail line as the reference. Then use a crossing window to select each of the vertical pipes on the left side of the detail line. Remember, you select the portion of the element that you want to keep. Once you do, the pipes are trimmed back to the location of the detail line. However, the fittings remain the same and do not update for the removal of the pipes. So pay attention to fittings and connections when using the Trim and Extend tools. Elements such as lines are easily trimmed and extended, but model elements behave differently. 